Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing a skill video assessment of deep tendon reflex. I'm in the appropriate school tire. My badge is visible and a polished no acrylic nails, no jewelry. All right, to start off, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hand hygiene. I'm going to ensure patient privacy, introduce myself to the patient, and verify the patient information. I'm next going to explain the procedure to the patient. All right, so for the deep tendon reflex assessment, I'm going to use this hammer here. I'm going to tap gently on four different areas of your body, your bicep, um, tendon, your tricep tendon, your patella tendon, and your Achilles tendon. Now what that does, it is it elicits a stimulation response and we assess that response. Now this procedure can be done on any individual, but it is important to do so on pregnant patients as it indicates pregnancy related complications such as preeclampsia. So for example, if I was to tap on a pregnant patient's um, patellar tendon here and it was hyperreflexia, that along with other signs and symptoms indicate preeclampsia. All right, so this procedure, what it does is it measures the motor system. It indicates um, the condition of upper and lower neurons. It is graded on a scale of 0 to 4, 0 being absent, 1 being hypoactive and diminished, 2 being uh, normal, and uh, 3 being hyperactive and brisk, 4 being brisk with clumps. All right. Whenever doing this procedure, we want to ensure that we do it on both sides bilaterally to assess for symmetry, but for this skill video, I'm going to just do it on the one side. All right, to start off, I'm going to do the patient's uh, bicep tendon here. I want to feel along their bicep muscle and go underneath that. I want to ensure that their patient, or excuse me, the patient's arm is completely relaxed. I'm going to use my hand here to support their elbow, put my thumb on top of the bicep tendon, and use the pointed side point side of the hammer and tap on the tendon. And it would elicit a response here in the hand. Next one. Oh, tricep tendon. I want to ensure that the arm is completely relaxed. I'm going to support the arm here. I'm going to feel for the elbow, go right above the bone there, and again use the pointed side to um, tap on the tendon. Okay. Next one. The patellar. I want to feel along the kneecap here, go right underneath that for that indentation. But instead, this time I'm going to use the flat side of the hammer. But for the patellar tendon, I want to ensure their leg is dangling and completely relaxed. So I'm going to feel across here and tap. Okay? Then for the next one, the Achilles tendon, I'm going to come down here, same thing, leg needs to be dangling and completely relaxed. So for this one, I'm going to put my hand underneath the top part of their foot here, dorsiflex the foot just slightly, come back here, locate the Achilles tendon, and I'm going to tap on that with the wide side of my hammer. But for this one, to um, notice a response, the foot will plantar flex, meaning it will slightly go down. So I'm going to tap on that. All right. Lastly, I'm going to assess for clonus. Same thing. Dangling foot, completely relaxed. I'm going to again dorsiflex the foot, but I want to assess for the foot after I release it. I'm going to dorsiflex quickly and let go. If the foot relaxes like this, it is a normal response indicating negative clonus. If I do like this, push up on the foot and the patient's foot um, shakes about three or four times, that is an abnormal response indicating positive clonus. All right, I'm done with the assessment. I'm going to um, make sure my patient is comfortable and hand hygiene, and that is it.